And that is it. Full time, and it is a win. The title remains in City's hand. Title remains in City's hand. Of course, it wasn't easy today. It was not easy. It was very competitive, especially in the first half, even in the second half, even after Vario has scored and has given a lead for Manchester City from a quarter kick. Nottingham Forest was was in it until, of course, they can see that second goal. Erling Haaland came on uh, from the bench, and of course, you know he was going to score. He gets one chance, and he takes it, and he makes it 2-0. Uh, good night, Vienna, really, for Nottingham Forest. But right on top of things, Manchester City, uh, huge win, three points, especially after seeing Tottenham uh, lose against Arsenal. I've seen Arsenal take all three points. This is what the table looks like right now. Uh, as you can see here, um, they are one point off the top. Arsenal, 80 points. They've won today. Manchester City do have one game remaining. If they do win that, it's going to push them above Arsenal. So they're going to be clear too. Two points clear. They will be two points clear if they win against Tottenham. So that's going to be huge. That's going to be huge. But today, it's another W. It is another W for uh, Guardiola. And you know what? In the end, it looked a comfortable game. In the end, it looked a comfortable game, but nothing was comfortable tonight. I mean, how many chances this guy Woods have for Nottingham Forest? How many chances he wasted in this game? It reminds me of Jackson, really. It reminds me of that Chelsea game against Manchester City where just Chelsea just did not take their chances. And in the end, they lost the tie in the, uh, in the FA Cup semi-final. Not that similar, but it's sort of, sort of same kind of game today. Nottingham Forest, two, three, four decent chances. Uh, you look at the XG, it was better than Manchester City. They had a lot of efforts. They had a lot of shots, but just could not find the back of the net. And and that goal is just a dagger blow. That goal they conceded that first half when Vardy was scored from a set piece. They had 10 men, really. One player was down. I, I can't remember who it was, but he was off the field. And he scored. They took advantage. Even the second goal, uh, the one of the defenders was wasn't a hundred percent, wasn't a hundred percent. Spirito Santo should have took him off. Should have took him off. He was hobbling. And then, guess what? Haaland found him one on one, and he took care of. Him. <laughs> he took care of. Him. I mean, he sat him down and scored the second goal. So pretty much unlucky in Oregon Forest. Hopefully, hopefully with this kind of performance, they should stay up. They are currently. Uh, 17s in the table they hopefully they, sh they should stay up but as for the title the title race remains it remains to be seen who's gonna win it man city is still the favorites arsenal neck and neck with Manchester city liverpool definitely out of the title race lost against west ham i mean drawn against west ham and lost against everton so we will see we will see what's gonna happen next but a huge result here for Manchester city uh three points on the board not at a match in this game. Let me know in the comment sections, but I feel like I have to give a Vario. I think that goal and and defensively, I mean, you could say that he was okay defensively as well. I'm going to give him my man of the match. You guys let me know in the comment sections who's your man of the match. But next game for Manchester City is going to be against Wolves, and then they have Fulham away from home. And that game against Spurs, that will be the deciding point, I think, uh, for the title race. But yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. I will see you guys in the next one. Good night. Peace.